Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. So this is Transitions Daily for January 12, read by Craig M. from Denny, Scotland. A. Thoughts for the Day. Reprieve. It's easy to let up on the spiritual program of action and rest on our laurels. We're headed for trouble if we do, for alcohol is a subtle foe. We're not cured of alcoholism. What we have is a daily reprieve contingent on the maintenance of a spiritual condition. Every day is a day when we must carry the vision of God's will into our activities. How can I best serve thee? Thy will, not mine, be done. These are thoughts which must go with us constantly. We can exercise our willpower along this line all we wish. It is the proper use of the will. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 85. Thought to consider. The alcoholic is in no greater peril than when he takes sobriety for granted. Acronyms. Ego. Easing God out. Just for today. Caring from serving my brother. I frequently ask God to help me watch over my thoughts and words that they may be true and proper reflections of our program, to focus my aspirations once again to seek his guidance, to help me be truly kind and loving, helpful and healing, yet always filled with humility and free from any trace of arrogance. Daily Reflections, page 29. Daily Reflections. Accepting our present circumstances. A very first problem is to accept our present circumstances as they are, ourselves as we are, and the people about us as they are. This is to adopt a realistic humility without which no genuine advance can even begin. Again and again we shall need to return to that unflattering point of departure. This is an exercise in acceptance we can profitably practice every day of our lives, provided we strenuously avoid turning these realistic surveys of the facts of life into unrealistic alibis for apathy or defeatism. They can be sure foundations upon which increased emotional health and therefore spiritual progress can be built. So as Bill sees it, page 44. When I am having a difficult time accepting people, places or events, I turn to this passage and it relieves me of many an underlying fear regarding others or situations life presents me. The thought allows me to be human and not perfect and to regain my peace of mind. As Bill sees it. Seeking Fool's Gold Pride is the basic breeder of most human difficulties. The chief block to true progress. Pride lures us into making demands upon ourselves or upon others which cannot be met without perverting or misusing our God-given instincts. When the satisfaction of our instincts for sex, security and a place in society becomes the primary object of our lives, then pride steps in to justify our excesses. I may attain humility for today, only to the extent I am able to avoid the bog of guilt and rebellion on one hand, and, on the other hand, that fair but deceiving land which is strewn with fool's gold coin of pride. This is how I find and stay on the high road to humility, which lies between these extremes. Therefore, a constant inventory, which can reveal when I am off the road, is always in order. From 12 and 12, page 48 to 49, and the Grapevine, June 1961. The Big Book Quote Though we work out a solution on the spiritual as well as an altruistic plane, we favour hospitalisation for the alcoholic who is very jittery or befogged. More often than not, it is imperative that a man's brain be cleared before he is approached, as he then has a better chance of understanding and accepting what we have to offer. Some Alcoholics Anonymous The Doctor's Opinion, page 26. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. The longer we are in AA, the more natural this way of life seems. Our old drinking lives were a very unnatural way of living. Our present sober lives are the most natural way we could possibly live. During the early years of our drinking, our lives weren't so different from the lives of a lot of other people. But as we gradually became problem drinkers, our lives became more and more unnatural. Do I realise now that the things I did were far from natural? Meditation for the day. I will say thank you to God for everything, even the seeming trials and worries. 
I will strive to be grateful and humble. My whole attitude towards the higher power will be one of gratitude. I will be glad for the things I have received. I will pass on what God reveals to me. I believe that more truths will flow in as I go along in the new way of life. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be grateful for the things I have received and do not deserve. I pray that this gratitude will make me truly humble. It's from Hazeldean Foundation, PO Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. This is Transitions Daily. My name is Craig and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc. 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.